In this video, let's take a quick look at calibrating GNSS or GPS data to a local site survey. So I've got uh, some uh, record data that I've entered here. And if I look at the coordinates here, I'm at zero, zero. And if I open up any of the traverses here, I'm going to see that here's um, lot one or lot two, and I'm starting it at zero, zero. So I'm working in a local site Cartesian grid. And, and I could think of this local site as being on the ground. Okay, that would be a, a good way to think, think about that. Now, if I import GNSS data, and I've got some here I want to bring in. So let's import. And this is ASCII, and I'm going to bring in the geodetic positions from a text file. doesn't matter how you uh, generated those out in the field. Uh, here's my GNSS ties. Let's go ahead and import those. So Traverse BC is bringing in the latitude, longitude, all that sort of thing. And I've got the GNS ties right here. Let's open that up. Yep, that'll work. And here are the uh, state plane or UTM coordinates along with the lats and longs. And I, I want you to notice something here. In the field, um, I'm tying these foundation corners. Okay, that's the those are all the H2, H3. But I'm also picking up my record points one, two, three, nine, and ten. So um, when I was out in the field, I occupied and I found and occupied the monument at one, at two, at three, at nine, and at ten. So I have the uh, state plane positions for those based on my coordinate reference system for the survey. So let's take a look at our survey information. So I'm using the NAD 83 South, and um, that's what those positions are. Now, if I were to add this traverse to this drawing, and I can do that just by tagging it, and then do a zoom extents, uh, I've got to somehow reconcile the fact that here's my survey at local or site coordinates, and way over here I've got this survey at state plane coordinates. Okay, and those are my GNSS ties. And, and I simply want to, in this video, bring that GNSS data over to my local site so I can work with it with my record data. And, and that's what this is all about. So let's, let's just go ahead and do that quickly here. I'm going to tell Traverse BC that I want to calibrate that data. And the first thing I need to do is to create a calibration. So I've got this traverse set up just the way I, I want it, okay, because I've got these pound three, pound nine, pound ten. It says I want to select a traverse of uncalibrated points with calibrated local site points as either side shots or in the description. And here I've got them in the description delineated by this character. I can use any character I want in, in the field. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick that traverse here and choose OK. Traverse PC is going to go in and generate that calibration. And you can see already my residuals are over here on the right. They're, they're really pretty small. And I'm simply going to call this GNSS ties. Okay. And I can bring in the survey name if I want. I can bring in the coordinate reference system. And then I'm going to choose local site here. And this is just going to remind me that this calibration is going from this coordinate reference system, Oregon South, okay, to a local site. And my local site can start at 0, 0, 5,000, 5,000, 10,000, 10,000, whatever you want to do. And because I'm really just working 2D on this property survey, uh, I'm going to use a 2D conformal transformation for that. So let's go ahead and say that looks good. Um, I think I can bring in like the uh, path name if I want to remember where this calibration was generated from, which might be handy if I want to share that with some other projects later on. Let's go ahead and save this now. And I've got one I created earlier. Let's just overwrite that. So now I've created this calibration, and it's here in the, the survey kind of ready to go. And the last thing I want to do is just tell Traverse PC what I want to calibrate. I don't want to calibrate the whole um, survey. I just want to do that particular Traverse. So I know I'm going to calibrate that traverse. I've got some information about this particular calibration. You saw me just say that a moment ago. And let's go ahead and compute that. Okay. So now let's do a couple of things. 
I'm going to just close this report here. Let's take a look at the fact that um, Traverse BC has recomputed new coordinates for those points. So the latitude and longitude are still the same, but they have calibrated coordinates. And in fact, that's why the underline here, that's my little signal that, that these have been calibrated. And if I do a zoom extends now, I'm no longer going from zero, zero up to, you know, 1.3 million. Those GNSS points are right over the top of my survey, my local site survey, where they should be. Okay, which is, which is exactly what I want. Now, I can go in and take a look at any one of these points. I'm just going to close some of this out here. And, and you can see, here's my message view where it actually did all this for me. And here's the calibration that I used. And here's what I calibrated. And then for every point, I have the uncalibrated position and the calibrated position. And those are the positions now I'm going to see in my survey if I come down and look at these points. So I can go to any one of these points. Let's do... Um, our position for point one, so we call that G1, and I can go into survey properties, and Traverse PC tells me that the calibration it's currently using to generate these coordinates is the GNSS ties. Now, I could just as easily switch that to none and remove that calibration, and here's what the state plane coordinates would be. Okay, and I don't want to do that. I want to reapply that uh, GNSS, but it knows that those points are calibrated, so it's really easy for me now to come in and uh, either in the traverse or in the um, point, met, point view, wherever I want to do that, either use the point code tools or manually, manually come in and say, okay, these are now at my local site, so I can add those to a traverse, and I can call this uh, foundation lot two. I'm going to use a foundation setting for it. Let's find that. I'm going to plot it as a foundation. I'm going to tag it. This all looks good, and now I've got a foundation. Let's do the same thing for three, and I think it'll even increment the uh, name for me automatically. Yeah, foundation lot three, everything else is still set properly, and do the same thing for four. So you get the idea that this allows me then to um, take this GNSS data that's at state plane or UTM coordinates based on the coordinate reference system for the survey and bring that into my local site, which is probably, you know, could be where the, the CAD drawings are all based on or where my record data is all based on. And I really think of this as just a Cartesian grid. So I'm not doing anything fancy with the um, uh, computations. Uh, it's just... Uh, Cartesian grid computations. These are ground distances for the site, so I can go out and stake these out. Um, and then, of course, um, when I export information back out to the GNSS, it takes that calibration and just reverses it. So it takes these local grid points and first converts them to the coordinate reference system coordinates and then to lats and longs. And, and then, of course, I can take this particular calibration that I've already produced and I can assign it to the survey as its site calibration. So now anything I import from GNSS automatically gets calibrated based on this calibration. I never have to select it again. So it, it ties in grid versus ground. It ties in uh, geodetic versus local site. It does a whole bunch of things for me uh, just with a simple calibration, in this case, based on uh, five points. So that's uh, GNSS calibrations in TPC Desktop 2019.